Meanwhile, communities along the Lake Ontario shoreline are sharing in state funds in order to dredge harbors from the Niagara frontier to the Thousand Islands and to help keep their economies alive. Channel 2's Dave McKinley was in Orleans County where the state announced completion of the initial round of that program. Well, following some devastating flooding five years ago, the state came up with $300 million to repair damaged areas and protect others for the future. Now, the last of those funds, some $15 million, has been spent to dredge 20 harbors in six shoreline counties. It's important stuff, according to leaders of those counties we spoke with following a meeting held in Albion today. Tourism is a multi-million dollar business, and if we had harbors that people could not fish, could not get in, couldn't do their fishing, it would devastate all six counties. Um, huge revenue, huge sales tax revenue as well. At the same time, though, the state also announced it will turn over management of the program when it comes to future dredging of these harbors to the counties. As part of that, the state is also turning over reams of technical information which it's been gathering over the last few years in order for the counties to be able to do this. We'll have more about that coming up at 5. In Albion, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.